Good morning and uh, yeah welcome to a barbel vlog, chub and barbel vlog even, on a different river from the Severn. Um, I wasn't going to say where I was to be honest though because when you look on the uh, Facebook page it's all a bit secret squirrel but I've walked along the river and it's uh, yeah, it's blatantly obvious where everyone fishes or every peg is, I mean it's convenient to fish, they're all pretty much trodden down and everything. And um, I've seen a couple of lads this morning who fish here regularly, and uh, yeah, they've uh, they've said it's really hard on here. Hardly anything comes out, and it's absolutely caned every day of the week. So um, could be an interesting challenge here, but we'll see how we do. I'm um, yeah, so I'm on the I'm on the uh, I'm on a neem back, backwater at Caister, and. Uh, yeah, I've had a walk along. Every peg looks like it should have fish in. But as I say, the lads say it's uh, it's just caned and it's really hard to catch any fish. They've done a few trips, had some couple of chub the other day, but they've struggled. Um, so we'll see what happens. The good thing here is, I mean, it, it's a one rod rule. So I've got my float rod with me in case I want to float fish. And uh, I've gotten down on a lot lighter on all my tackle. I've got my original quorum rods if you've ever watched my first vlog or oh, barbell fishing on a seven i ran through the equipment i had there i've got that gear back out today they've got like i say my quorum rods because they're a lot lighter when i say lighter you know fishing wise they're not not as heavy as my um cadence rods they're not as strong more flexible ability in them gone down to the little reels again back down to 10 pound main line and a nine pound fluorocarbon hook link, end gauge fluorocarbon hook link, a little size 10 hook. Again, there's not much flow on the river here, so I've uh, got an 85 gram Olivet on air, which will um, certainly hold bottom. I had one little flick out where I am now, and that holds bottom nicely here. Again, my hook links on as long as I would use on a seven, I've gone down to two and a half foot hook links. Um, because I'm feeding ellipse pellets in at the moment, I've got a couple of little ellipse pellets on the hair and just wrapped a bit of paste around it. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fish this like I would the seven. So, um, although maybe not staying the swims as long as I would on the seven. You know, I've got a couple of really nice pegs up from me if other people don't turn up. That's the other thing, it's school holidays, so I do expect it to be quite busy along here. But uh, we'll see what happens. Like I say, I can do a little flick out. That 85 gram Olivet will hold bottom. Um, if you've not used Olivets, they're really used for float fishing. You know, they slide onto the line. They've got a little rubber down the middle of them. And uh, you put a bit of straw or a bit of grass or something, just force it between your line and the rubber. It, it holds the Olivet in place. Um, I've used them when I'm float fishing. I'll put a little bit of... Um, amnesia down there that works well because you can't always find a bit of straw or a bit of grass but yeah so so that will hold bottom here and um like so i'm just going to fish like i would the seven i'm going to put the kettle on in a minute have a cup of coffee and uh just keep feeding up this spot i've been in here yeah about half an hour now i've been trickling in a little bit of elite pellet just a tiny bit of hemp not a lot i don't want them getting engrossed on the hemp but the hemp is a good bait to get them going if they're there so we'll see what happens got my usual array of baits i've got the different pellets the um yeah elip pellets i think blood worm pellets um my spicy pellets my cheesy pellets 
tin of spam, pepperoni, or pepperoni, whatever it's called. And yeah, we'll just see what happens. We're, uh, it's a bit of an exploratory trip, really. I joined the club for the first time this year. There's meant to be good fish in the Neen, you know. It's, but it's like everywhere, yeah. Social media shows you people catching all these fish, but they don't show you all the people who have fished all day, and it's like nothing, just nothing. So, uh, yeah, I don't tend to believe everything I see on social media, that's for sure, yeah good lesson in life don't believe what you see on social media but anyway yeah so it's a bit of an exploratory trip today on the plus side it's only 82 miles from my house whereas if you've watched my barbell vlogs you know that's 175 miles each way so I've half the distance I've got to travel and uh, we'll see how we do see if we can uh, get at least a chub out of one of the pegs today and uh, yeah I'll update the vlog later see you then Here we go, first caster fish. Nice little chub, we'll take that all day long. I'm happy with that. Uh, put him back, see if we can get the barbel to come in. Okay, welcome back. So, yep, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the main river now. I've moved off of that uh, backwater. Um, I love that swim I was in, or the peg I was in. Obviously you've seen the one chub I had reasonably early on in the session um, I'd made a few tweaks to get that I'd, um, I'd shortened the hook link down to a foot so I could get under the tree the, with a two foot hook link he was flicking under and the hook link was catching the tree every time so I um, shortened that down and also put a lump of paste over the uh, hook and bait so as if it did catch anything the hook wouldn't get caught um, what did I have and then I'd um, had a couple of chublet from under there then I changed over to meat because the the uh, knocks dried up and uh, straight away I'd roach on the meat then some more chublet on the meat I lost a chub on the meat a good because I'd had a few little tinkery knocks from the chublet, I probably wasn't quite paying attention. No, I had a big knock, definite chub bite. I had the chub on, but it was going off to my right, which would have been, um, yeah, would have been upstream and uh, tight to my, well, both sides tight to me, you could see probably on the video. I had reeds and yeah, it got in the reeds and I didn't get that one out. Um, got the hook length and everything back out, but not the fish. So, uh, lost that one and then sat there for a few more hours and yeah thought I'd better have a move so um, but then as I'm walking down it's, it's got quite busy on there so as I say I've ended up coming down onto the uh, main river the plus side you can use two rods on here although I didn't bring my second marble rod but I did have my float rod with me tension bream rod so at the moment that's out working as a quiver tip or feeder rod and um, I've got one rod closing in the margins 
Um, you've got three foot straight in front of me here, just off some cabbages and stuff. So I thought, yeah, present the bait nicely there, get some freebies in around it. And then I was going to say three quarters away. It's not three quarters away. Three quarters away over is loads of weed, but probably two thirds of the way over, there seems to be a, a bit of a steeper bit, and you get a donk as the lead goes down. So um, I've got a uh, cheesy, cheesy garlic bait, whatever it is. Yeah, is it cheesy garlic? I think it is. Yeah. Anyway, I've got one of them out there. And I've got my uh, ellipse pellets close in. And uh, yeah, I'll give this a few hours and uh, see what happens. And so I will come back again and I would, um, I'll leave the dog at home and I would sit on that backwater all day long, happily in that peg. So uh, that'll be my plan when I come back, fish one of those pegs on the backwater and just stay there all day. Keep trickling the bait in. I may be wrong but they just look like they should produce fish to me. So um, that's the plan. So yeah, I'll update the vlog um, just before I go, unless I catch a fish in the meantime, that would be nice, and I'll try and get that on video. But yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this little vlog up now. Um, yeah, nothing's happened this afternoon. Um, I'm not entirely surprised, if I'm honest. Didn't, I didn't really get the feel for it. On, on this stretch of the river, if I'm honest. Uh, maybe another day, be a different story. But certainly uh, I'm looking forward to coming back and doing some more on the backwater. Um, yeah, I just feel like, I feel like that's, that's somewhere where you could probably put in a bit of time, fish it correctly, you maybe get some results. I mean, that said, if the fish aren't there, then you're never gonna get those results. Um, one other guy came past me earlier this afternoon. He's gone way down there. He reckons they're not in the backwater. Um, once they've spawned, he says, no, they come out of there. I mean, I don't know. The club site says um, that they come out of there once the, once the winter comes. They come out of the backwater, so um, I'm sure well, we'll find out one way or the other. I'll be back and we'll do some... Uh... God, I just realised, lucky I didn't lose my rods there. Two boats coming past. But yeah, I had a couple of boats earlier as well, which, uh, yeah, I can always do without that. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, I'm looking forward to coming back and doing a bit more on that backwater and uh, hope to get a barbel or two from there. But yeah, um, there's not a lot more I can say on this vlog. It's quite a short one, but at least we had a, you know, we've come here, we've seen the water, and yeah, I've had a chub. Happy with that chub. Well, I had quite a few, if you count the little chublets and a roach and things, but yeah, one proper chub, I'd say, and one chub lost. So, um, worth coming back. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, there's a subscribe button somewhere way down on the left, more well, my left, your right, as you're looking at the screen. And yeah, you'll get notifications as and when I put further vlogs on. So yeah, see you in the future.